Okay, let's go for a roller coaster ride. This is going to be awesome when we start going downhill because we'll really pick up some serious speed. Look how fast we're going now. <laughs> it's a good thing there's a rail there. Welcome back, everybody. It's Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, the plan is to build our hypertube transportation setup. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to spend some money for, well, some coupons more specifically. First, though, on some, a few things. Um, so let's just grab, we have 21 coupons here. Uh, plus, I have, I believe, 18 more um, sitting in my bin over here. So let's grab all of that. I think I have those sitting in here. Yes, I do. 18 more. Okay, so that gives us 39 coupons all together. All right. So what I want to get is I want to get floodlights. Um, actually, you know what I can do is I can just click this here. That way it doesn't take me out of the menu. I want to get those. Um, I want to get Hyper 2. You know what? Let's get both of these, actually. Wall and floor attachments. Okay. I want to get the half foundation set, which gives us all of those half foundations. And we may get some of these other ones later, but those, those ones in particular I want to get. Steel framed windows. Uh, let's hold off on that for the moment. I want roof. Yeah, I want roof pieces. So that's six of those. And I think I want structural beams. Well, corner roofs aren't included in just normal roof, huh? Hmm, okay. Yeah, let's get these structural beams. I want to get the steel uh, wall material. Um, so where does that put us? That puts us at 27. Okay, so we still have, have some to work with. Pathway patterns. Factory zone. Yeah, let's get the factory zone patterns. Um, transportation, factory icons, solid line patterns, yeah, uh, let's wait off, uh, wait off, hold off on those. At some point I need to get the boombox. Okay, that's all fancy pants stuff. You know, we need a coffee cup. Seriously, we do. Um, that, well, that's not bad, actually, 25 novelists. You know, I had I had mentioned earlier on in this playthrough that I thought it was kind of silly to spend coupons on equipment and parts, parts especially, but actually I got to thinking about it. At some point, we're going to buy everything in here, or at least have bought everything we want to buy, and still have a buttload of tickets. So I can see, you know, where that might in the late, you know, mid to late game make a little more sense. All right, let's go to the cart. Let's buy all that stuff. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Right, okay. Here, let me look at something again. Let's go back to walls. Full frame window, hex frame window. Steel. I mean, other than the fact that it's a little bit different pattern... Oh, steel framed window. I see. Yeah, uh, what the hell? Let's buy those two. Those might be interesting. These two together, um, 9, 10, 11. Okay, that's 11 more points. How many more coupons do I have now? I have six. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold off on, on some of those other things for now. 
Very good. All right, so we're going to start this process by we're going to build our our hypertube station uh, in this section here. So let's remove uh, all of that. And we're going to put some uh, foundations in here. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to take that out by three. And let's do one more. Okay, yeah, so we'll make that a we'll make that a three by three. I believe that's what I want to do. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into walls. And I want to just see what this actually looks like. Oh, we need silica. Uh, we still haven't set up uh, a silica production line, but I do have, you know, some, some silica. In fact, we're going to also need this, too, for some signs. All right, let's just take a look at these for a second. I want to see what they look like. Okay. Um, don't think that's what I want to use. What I want to use are these windows here. That's just a big sheet of glass there. That's interesting. Uh, actually... Okay, we'll probably do something with those in the future. Uh, but these are the windows I actually want to use. So let's um, build out this room here. This will put a gate hole wall or center door. Yeah, let's just put that there. Okay, we'll build this out. Uh, build this up, rather. I think that's where I want that to go. All right, now, um, next thing we're going to do is... Full frame window. I'm just curious... What would it look like if we put that there and then um, a hyper tool wall hole? Oh. Okay, this needs to go all the way that way. That needs to go in this. We can do, can, we can do four of these, huh? Well, now that's interesting. What? Oh, <laughs> I just backed right out the door. Hmm. Okay, hold on a sec. I had a completely different plan in mind, but I. That plan did not include this glass window. Um, and I'm not, still not even sure I want to use this glass window. I'm just kind of farting around here. Um, go to the hyper, can we, yeah, see, you can't put the hypertube entrance right in the wall. Okay, so in that case, let's move this back. Let's go back to the. Uh, the wall hole. Alright, what if we do one there, one there, and one there? I was only planning on doing three of these. Anyway. Or we could space them out. 
more like that. Kind of glitches into the side a little bit, but probably better to space them out a little more because if they're so close together, you might accidentally get sucked into the wrong one, perhaps. I don't know. Okay, let's uh, attach the entrances now to these. Oh, okay. So they, they kind of merge inside of the holes. I thought they were going to stick out further. I see. Okay, in that case, then let's actually put this back uh, whoa, uh, back where we had it originally. And I'll redo all this. I'm not... I'm not really planning on doing anything in the blueprint designer for this because you know, hypertube setup is it's going to be kind of it's going to be different every time depending on where you want to go. Uh, at least early on, um, maybe later on if we have like a big mega factory and we want to do certain types of hypertube landings that we would use over, you know, then of course we would do it. But now it doesn't make much sense for me to do blueprints just because I'm making this up as I go and I'm not exactly sure how it's all going to come together. I mean, I got a pretty general idea because I did do a little testing earlier, but yeah. Okay, so just for shits and grins, let's raise that up three high. And let's go to... These are our, these are our half foundations. Where Where's our roofs? Here they are. Four meter roof. Okay, can we put that up? Can we... Oh, uh... Oh, that's at an angle. Okay. Do we have like a flat? Yeah, flat roof right there. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Now, let's go ahead and put a... Um, a stairs up here. Do you not attach to the top of the roof? Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, it does on this side. I mean, kind of does. I'm not going to leave it like this. I just want to see. Oh, yeah, that, that works. But it's... It attaches strangely on this side. Because it's kind of going through this little trim piece here. Alright, so that means we need to take this roof and we need to turn it around. Not even sure I actually want to use a roof there, though. We might instead just put a foundation up. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that instead. Let's put the stairs up next. We'll do uh, the crossing right here. And then, whoops, bring the stairs down to here. All right, I'm going to put another platform out that way. All right, so. Let's go, let's put our hypertube stuff on toolbar three. So hypertubes can go in six. Um, probably supports are the next most common thing we'll use. Put that in seven. Probably stackables eight. And... For the rest, we'll just do walls, support. No, let's do wall holes in eight. Wall support in nine and floor holes in ten. So the only thing I didn't put on there are entrances. But... That's okay. Because entrances, I mean, yeah. We'll just go into the menu for that, or we'll 
or we'll press E and you know choose it from here. So, okay. So let's put the this first tube here, and I want it to be in noodle mode because noodle mode seems to work the best for these for some reason. And let's put that there. So okay. Uh. Hmm. What happened? What happened to the wall I had there? Must it? Oh, I yeah. Obviously, I took it out. I just don't remember doing it. I'm trying to think—is this what I want to do though? We can't put a wall in this. In the half, in a halfway point there. Like I said, I just I had done this a little bit differently when I tested it. Why why is that orange and these are green? Everything should be green. I don't know. It's really odd. Okay, I think this is probably okay. I think we can work with this. Okay, so let's bring this one up to here. Okay, good. Um, now what we're going to do is let's figure out our power. We have to put the uh, hypertube entrance. Yeah, we got to put those back. And then we have the, um, oh, those are, those are glitching into the wall. That's weird. It's weird that they made it so that that would happen. Hmm. Well, I mean, if I'm going to use the wall, I can't do anything about that. It's just the way it's going to be. So let's just go with it for now. I might change my mind later. All right. Go back to walls, and I want the one meter wall. And we'll put that up there. Okay. Let's do... Let's do that. There, uh, there's a reason why I'm doing it this way instead of putting a whole wall up there. And you'll see why later. Okay. And then I think what we'll do here is we'll... In uh, okay, how do I get that to... Right, forget it. We'll just soup that up. Wait, what? There we Okay, what if we, instead of doing that, or, no, here, take, take those down. Let's do this. So there's an access to get inside of here. And maybe we'll just do the same thing on this side too. All right. Now zoop those up to there. Okay. So now what we need to do is get power in here. Um, or more specifically in here. And the way that I want to do that is I want to put. Um, wall outlets up above each one of the 
insulators there. And then um, hook them up like this. Negative. There we go. Okay. Now we need to bring power in to here. And let's see, we have we have that power connection there. So why don't we I think we'll just use this, that beam right there. Okay. Yeah, that works. Unless, well, unless I wanted to Might look better if we use a double and bring that down just so it's a little more of a level going across there. Oh, you know what else I think we're going to have to do? I think by the time I'm done doing this. Oh, shoot, we're already uh, potentially over our maximum production, which means it's going to start grabbing um, from the bio generators. So we need to add more coal plants. And coal plants, I think, are something you can't put in the blueprint machine because they're too damn high. Yeah, see, it won't let you, which is, it will, oh, wait a minute, can you? Oh, this could really speed things up. It does appear to let you to do it. Um, all right, that's the center line. And go back that far. I thought you weren't we weren't able to do this because the smokestack was too high. But it's letting me do it. Let, let, let's see if it'll let, let us save it. Save the blueprint. Clear the designer. Grab the stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah, I was I I was told that you couldn't do do these cuz they were too tall, but maybe they fixed that in an update or something. Okay, anyway, let's get back to this. Got a little bit sidetracked there, but that's okay. Um now, what I wanted to do here was I wanted to go uh, let's go to the customizer. And I wanted to go to the custom swatch. So that would paint that white. Just to add a little, a little bit of color to the stuff, so it's not just plain old green. Um, or what we could do is edit this, <clears throat> excuse me, and Preset foundation primary. What if we just make that black? Yeah, 
That looks kind of cool. I like that better. It kind of fits with our our theme anyways, uh, our black and green theme. At some point, I'm going to either change the entire theme just to change things up a little bit for us, or <clears throat> I will, um, or at least we'll color, you know, one of our factories different than the other ones. But I'm adding, oh shit, <laughs> we got sucked up into the tube. Um, I'm adding um, one more, uh, so we, we also have a, can do a black piece on the top. kind of cool just breaks it up a little bit okay good so we got power down we got the this down um let's let's go up another wall height okay jump up here there we go All right, since I didn't, I didn't get the, um, the angled wall pieces. I have an idea. Oh, <laughs> there we go again. Sucked up the tube. We'll have to put some, uh, some caution stuff down here. Have our six coupons and go back to the shop. Those are the inverted tilted walls. Okay, let's get these for now. Now, what I'm thinking is, let's take these back off. Making this up as I go. Okay, now if we go to here and let's see we got the eight meter four meter two meter if we put the two meter down that's not going to work is it four meter is going to be yeah, no, actually the four meter is what we want. Okay. Um, I think I'll just do this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the question now though is, is the roof, oh, Pete's sake. Is the roof going to clip into these guys here? Um, let's get the roof out and... No, it isn't. Okay, good. Wasn't what I had in mind, actually. Let's do these pieces. Uh, 
flat roof. Okay. I don't like that the roof is also green. Um Uh, so let's let's see if we can paint the roof black. In fact, we might be able to just do that from down here. Uh, yeah. What if we also paint that black? And also painted this and that and this and that could work I don't know if I like that better or if I like, you know, with these windows, the upper windows being black, or if I prefer them to be green. I think I like them black as well. That's what I think. Okay. So that means we want you and you and you. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think that works. Let's put our light on. All right. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go here and go to patterns. And... Let's do half zone oh we need color cartridges I've got lots of color cartridges lots I'll just grab a full canister of it Put that there. We're also going to go into here and we're going to make this floor the uh, metal grip floor. Now, if we want to change uh, these to white, uh, we just need to find a swatch that has white in the secondary. There. They should, well, white doesn't make much sense though, right? It should be, I mean, we could go back to the orange or we, or maybe a yellow would look good, but none of these really have a yellow. So we're going to have to, no, not that we are have to go here and we're going to need to make this secondary color on this yellow did, um, did I save this preset? I don't think I did. Oh, cancel. Oh, wait a minute, though. I'm not using that preset permanently anyways. This is our main one that we're using. Let's edit that for a minute. I definitely want to save this green. Um... I'm just going to call it my, whoops. Lime green. 
there. That way we can use that specific color again later. Right? Load preset. Lime green. There we go. Okay, good. Now, let's go to the custom swatch. Um, no, edit the custom swatch. And we want the secondary color to be yellow. we also painted the tile itself a darker color but actually I don't mind that um, yeah I kind of like that actually this is a Bob Ross happy accident right here yeah there we go okay cool um, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some signs here. Um, so let's go to organization. And I think what we'll do is we'll... I'm trying to think if I want to use larger signs. Like, um, what's a three meter look like? Oh, that doesn't quite fit right, does it? Okay, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. So let's just go, we'll use the two meter sign, but, you know, this is eventually going to go to more than one location, so we could put more signs above it. Uh, in fact, it's already going to go to two locations. Um... I'm just going to set this up kind of how I think it's going to go for now and then, you know, completely, we can completely customize it later. All right, so without getting sucked into there, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to... There's a hyper tube, select image. We're going to call this um, Rocky Desert. Factory. And we're going to use our green preset color for the text. Okay, now we're also, however, here, let's copy that, and let's paste it, but then this one we're going to change to, um, red jungle, whoops, yeah, let's go call it red jungle, because what we're going to do is we're going to create two hyper tube lines. We're going to have one that's going to take us to our rocky desert factory, our first factory. But then we're going to do another one that's going to branch off and go up into the red jungle up that coal roadway that we made. Um, because we're going to, you know, we're going to use that in the future. Okay, so let's, um, can I get, okay, let's paste that. And then this one we're going to call um, I, I don't know yet um, let's just call this one unknown for now okay and this one we're going to change to um, I was going to call it Eastern Route right now, which I know is very generic, but the idea is for it to go off that way. Um, maybe what... 
Maybe what we'll do actually with this one is we'll um, we'll just say Contarium um, con, uh, facility. Because what we can do with this middle one is we can run it up to over to the Contarium facility, and then have this one run kind of off that direction. And again, you know, we'll, we'll update this and change it as time goes on. But this is the main one we're going to build in this episode here. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that tube and we're going to bring it all the way out to here. Uh, except for that, I've got to redo that because I didn't. It needs to be. Right here. That's straight. Okay, good. So, uh, oh shit. There's one more thing I want to do in this building, I think. Um, if we. I didn't. Oh shit, you know what? I didn't buy the ceiling mounted light, did I? Don't remember how much that costs. Uh, that was under management, I think? No, uh, organization. It's three coupons. Oh, by the way, um, we are at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, wow. We have. Okay, we need to stop this. We're like way beyond what we need for the space elevator, but that's okay. I mean, the rest of those. Uh, oh, by the way, you guys may have mentioned this in the comments. I haven't seen them yet from last time, uh, the last video, but we actually are going to need like 2,500 of these bastards for the next project. So I was going to just take the excess and throw them in the, in the sink, but you know, with needing that many, we might re <clears throat> excuse me, might reconsider setting up a semi permanent. Well, it's not, it's not using a lot of those beams, is it? Or the, a lot of the frames. Uh, maybe the way forward with this is just to let it make them all. As long as it doesn't run us out of frames and beams, then we could get away with that. And we could just make them now and then store them to, until, you know, the next, the next uh, project. I'm going to keep making them for now. And if I decide not to do that, Worst case scenario, we just throw the extra ones in the sink and get a bunch of coupons. Do, do we have one more coupon? Oh, we do. Okay, good. Let's print that right now. Okay, that'll be enough to get that light that I wanted to get. I did intentionally mean to buy the other one, but I, 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 I'm doing things a little bit different than I had originally planned, so that's a thing. Uh, so let's buy this, these ceiling lights. We're going to need those for other things anyway. Okay, good. Now, can... Uh, here, let's grab that. And we want to... Can we... Oh, shit. Can we not angle these? Wow, these things are big. Uh, I mean, they're bigger than I remembered. Um... Yeah, the mouse button horizontally rotates. Rotate hologram, scroll up, scroll down. Left. A quick switch. Okay, well, we may have to go with my original plan. That was not a waste to buy in those. We definitely need them. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do in this case then is I'm going to put this light up here. Let's put it there, and we can tilt it 
down like that. Okay, and then we'll just no, grab that. There we go. Look at that. It's looking good, man. Looking good in the neighborhood. I wonder how well that would work up here, too. Um, no, not right there. Here, let's go up there. If we put... Yeah, if we put the lights... Here. Is that weird having that mounted on the glass, though? I think I'd like it better on the beam. You know, this is actually kind of a jank situation too, isn't it? Now that I think about it. <laughs> I guess we can't even get up there. Uh, let's just hook the power up to this and see what it looks like. I think I would want to go to there and then to there. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I don't think so. I think we're just going to leave it as is. Oh, sorry. I just took the wrong damn thing down. My bad. Okay, let's just go with this. I like this light here, though. It brightens this up really nice, nicely. Um, the only thing I... It does kind of put the signs in shadow, but the signs glow anyway, so that's not really an issue. Beautiful. All right. Now, the next part of this task is... I want our... Um, you know, just like we would do with pipes and conveyor lines, I want our hypertube corners to be as close as possible to 90 degrees. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the tube and we're going to bring it down here, I think. I can't tell if that's the better 90 or that's the better 90 it's really hard to say oh what's that lining up on oh it's lining up with the water thing it it almost looks to me like let's see if if we put a tower down, if we can, if that helps a little bit. Where's the ladder? There it is. No, we can't. Yeah, that doesn't help. We have to have the tower kind of right by the tube. Okay, yeah, I would say that we want to hold that in uh, back over to the right a little bit. So it was, I think it was there. See, it's just that the last section of the tube and this position looks pretty damn straight. See, now it's a little bit over to the right and a little bit over... You know, it's either this position or this position. I would say that one looks... the straightest. So, I think we're going to go with that. Um, okay. Let's get back down here.
All right now, let's grab. Whoops. Uh, let's grab one of these. And we're gonna line that up right there. Now the next question is how high up do we need to go on this? I think when I tested this earlier that the thing about what my testing earlier is I didn't do the exact same thing I'm doing now though, so I'm not um 100% sure it's correct. And what I do want to do though is I want to come over here and I want to paint that guy. And for that matter, that one too. There we go. You know what else? Uh, I don't think this is actually going to work. Oh, yeah. That's right, these are half a, t a foundation's width. There. Oh! <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, rails. You know, from down here, the thing though is, though, is that, that that just doesn't look like a straight line. Well, let's, let's finish setting it up, and it just occurred to me, too, that I need to go... Here, let's do this. We, got, we have to take the other curve into consideration, too. So if we're right on E for east, get our cursor right over that junction. Uh, probably this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, tell you what, let's, let's just try it from here and see what, what it does. I've kind of had a, a long day at work and my brain's not firing on all cylinders right now. So that's my excuse. So we're going to just build by braille. If it doesn't seem right, then we'll redo it. Okay. So. I think this needs to come up three more. And then we... Oh, you know what I forgot to do, actually? I forgot to put... Uh, where are we going? Transport. The stackable hypertube down. So let's just put that in... Eight. Slot eight. Because we're going to actually be using that a lot more than those other things anyways. Let's take this back down. Now from this angle that does appear to me like it's it's pushing back that direction some. No, not really, actually. I think that's fairly straight. It does appear to be too high, though. Which may be why it looks like it's being pushed back a little. So I think what we need to do is bring it down one to there. I think we're in, I think we're pretty good on this angle. So just got we just got to keep that in mind. We we need to go about six 
over from you know our reference point to get a reasonably good 90. I mean, it's I know it's not a 90, but hypertubes are a little harder to do that real well in any ways. At least I don't I don't know the right trick. Now the other thing though is. Is that is that level? I, I think it is actually. If if you kind of compare it to this conveyor belt, it looks pretty damn level to me. So I think that's where we want to be. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do then. Um, we're gonna we're just gonna utilize the existing uh, risers there, conveyor lifts or whatever the hell they're called. And I'm just going to go all the way down the road until we get to the junction, you know, for the, the coal road that goes way up high. And then I'll bring you guys back at that point and we will do the build down there because we're going to have to do some, some stuff down there too. All right, so I'll be, be back in a bit. All right, guys, we are at the, the coal road. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a, I guess you'd call it a junction here. Um, and the way we're going to do that is I want to line up on the edge of the uh, this platform here. So basically the south, south edge of it, uh, which I, should be this seam right here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put down... Uh, some walls and I think I think we'll just keep going with these walls here and whoops that should be I think that'll be the right height right okay and then uh, let's just put that foundation down, except for we want it to be concrete wall, or, or sorry, not concrete wall, concrete foundation. And maybe use the, the black color again, just for the hell of it. Okay. So, um, now what we want to do is let's go over here. I'm going to move this ladder to, uh, to the other side because I'm not going to have the hypertube stop up at the top here I'm gonna have it go all the way up to the top of the ramp and yeah so that means but I still want to have the ability to just get up to this you know right here on this landing if we need to for some reason okay so uh, let's get oh there okay be able to dismantle the right sections here. It dismantles in, in larger sections, which is actually handy. Okay. We should be able to do the rest of this from down below. I mean, I probably could have done the whole thing, actually, from all the way down here, but that's right. Okay, now we need to... I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna change things up here a little bit. Well, actually, no. We can leave this the way that it is, but we just need to extend it out. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so... Um, oh, right, those are catwalks. Um, let's, yeah, let's take, let's take all of these down. And what we'll do instead is, 
Can we take these down too? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll put rails here. Like so. And then we'll redo the ladder. All right, now, next thing is... Ooh, is that clipping? No, it's okay. Um, let's go ahead and put you there, and I think I want them to do two foundations here. And I think just to keep things simple, we're going to also do a ladder up to there, too. I could maybe put a stairs up, but uh, we'll just do a ladder. Okay, let's rail this up. Okay, I should have... I'm going to put that there for the moment. Um, it's going to come out that side. Yeah, I'm doing that, like I said, uh, I said to you guys earlier, I'm doing this a little bit differently than I had originally planned it. Okay, so we need to... Oh. I think I... I think I dropped this end down, which explains why it's too low. We need to come up another one. Well, not two more. One more. Yeah, that's what we want right there, I think. That looks straight. All right, good. Now, um... Here's where, actually, I think what I'm going to do is use the half foundations that we bought earlier. Because that doesn't need to be that wide. Uh, so let's see, half one meter foundation. Uh, except for I want you to go that way. And I guess that way. Okay. Uh, concrete. And the colors. So, yeah, I, I was running into this before. The, the top of the wall, you know, that we put down below glitches through here. It's very irritating. But they can't really do much about it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Where's the ladder? Can I put one more piece on top of here? There. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, so, um... Actually, maybe we can't do... Uh, okay, what if we... We could do this.
yeah, I think that's... I think that's the solution. There we go. Okay. And... Why don't we make the top part black just for the hell of it? Good deal. All right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to put on a uh, hypertube entrance. Uh, no, actually, we need to pull that tube over the top of the rail here. Uh, if I do this and then just raise it, no, it's gonna it's gonna do the spaghetti thing, isn't it? Unless I put this down first. Yeah, there we go. Um, and actually, I want that to go... Can I... Yeah. It does kind of clip through the rail, but the tube itself is not clipping through the rail, so I think I, I can live with that. I mean, either that or we take this off, but then, you know, we can fall off the edge is the thing. All right, now we're going to put... No, not you. The other... Okay, the other option... The, well, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do it this way. Let's just put that there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put an entrance here. And an entrance here. So the distance is far enough on, you know, between these two that, you know, when I'm coming this way, if I pull back on my, uh, if, if I push the back key on my keyboard, like the brake key, I'll pop out and I won't get sucked into that. But if I don't want to stop here and I want to keep going, then I just keep my momentum up and it'll shoot me out far enough for this one to catch me and keep me going. And I don't have to do anything. Um, that's why I wanted this particular distance. Because if I put this any closer, it's it, it, it's going to be... The closer this is to that, the harder it's going to be to do that, is what I'm trying to say. Okay? Um, so... So now this one we're going to run over to the factory, and this one we're going to run up to to there. So what I'd like to do here is... Um, let's just see what happens if we put... I want the tube to go right here. And... Let's just see what happens if we put it right on the edge. Right, okay. Now we need to get power up here next. So I think what we'll do, we're going to have to probably come off of that pole there. And I'm going to... Uh, no, I don't want to put that right there. If we put this right in the corner here. I think for aesthetic reasons, I would prefer... to put that there and then bring this up to there. Just so it's... Well, it's clipping, isn't it? Ah, I got a different idea. Take this away. Let's do this instead. Um, how far back can I hold it?
I guess that's okay. Okay. Um, if, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna clip if we bring it off of there, so we're gonna have to do this as well. Oh, <laughs> it sucked me back out. Okay. You can reverse yourself in these two, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Okay, good. I think we're ready then to to go up. Um, so let's do that now. And we'll just kind of see how this uh, curvature works. Hopefully it'll be fairly vertical for us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily uh, place that there. It's not going to stay there. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to grab uh, this. And I want that to be level, yeah, I want that to be level with the top. Uh, can you get, uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so now the million dollar question is, is how, how vertical does this look? I think it looks okay. I mean, when, when when we look at it right in the middle, it's pretty it's pretty vertical, pretty straight up and down. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. All right. Let's go back up. Let's get rid of that and grab you and no, I want you to, there, that's what I want you to do and go there. Wait, no, 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 here, let's do this. to go there. Very good. Okay. Now, we're going to connect this to here and we're going to run it up until we get to its maximum length, which is right on that seam there. Um, okay, I'm um, I'm actually gonna put that there just just to mark it for a minute. Okay, let's grab the wall connector. Uh, no, uh, this guy, and we want to put it here, but we want to tilt it. Oh. Hmm. I don't like the tilt angle of that. Oh, shit. Okay, is there a way to reduce the increments that this thing will...
Hmm. I don't like that. I, I wanted to get it at the same angle as this, so that way it's a nice, smooth, you know, connection. Um, lock hologram. Can I lock the hologram? Uh, not that that's going to do us any good. I can, but... Oh, it lets me do a... Look at that. It lets me do a vertical... You can't normally do that, um, but that doesn't help us. Oh shit, that sucks. The other thing I can do is, you know, these guys will tilt at the right angle. See, that's the perfect angle right there. It's just that I was kind of hoping to keep this off the road so we keep this space open for, you know, potential future belts or whatever. That sucks. Um, if I leave it straight up and down like that, it's going to create, you know, like a little bump thingy. And it's going to look like shit. And um, I'm not going to like it. If I leave it like this, it's going to do the same thing, only the bump's going to be in the other direction. Let's try something else. What if we just run the tube? I guess I can't reach it from there. If I put it on the wall, can I tilt it that way? Mm -mm. That's, that's like the main reason why I bought these side these wall connectors for this whole purpose ah <sighs> oh, man that sucks okay so I mean we have two options. We either put an extra ramp here just for this. Not a fan, I'll be honest with you. Um, do we have... Uh, what the hell is that doing? Here, go back down. Go here and then do that. So we could do this. I'm trying to remember if the shop had like half versions of these ramps. Uh, or if they possibly have, you know, some, uh, some other option. Let's, let's actually use the hypertube and go back to the shop and see. All right, our first hypertube ride. These are fun. Yeah, there's just a little little bit of a bump on that spot just because of the way they're, you know, they it ramped up, but it's not a big deal. And you do pick up speed in these things if you go downhill, and of course you slow down to a certain point when you're going uphill. Ooh, that puts us right in the door. <laughs> or in the wall. Um, yeah, that's okay. I can slow myself down when I'm coming out of it, I suppose. Alright, let's take a look and see uh, what options we might have in the shop. So we have inverted corner. Uh, corner ramps. Inverted 
inverted ramps, quarter pipes. I just, I just think it's gonna look ugly if we have a, a big ass full size ramp sticking out of the main road just to support the, you know, the pipe. Is a, that's a, that's the, that's my issue. What if I could make use of these? Um, how many coupons do I have? Are you done? Look at that. We got a full bin. Uh, what what is that? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. Uh, okay, so six times eight is forty-eight, right? So forty-eight times 50 that's 100 shy of 2500 which is what we'll need for the next project plan of course we have to deduct 500 from this um you know for the for this project i don't have enough room to take that down in my inventory and i my explorer is actually way back down that way okay well i'll worry about that later um i want to see if we have coupons again we have two Okay. So, I don't think the inverted ramp's going to do anything for us. We might be able to do something with this, but that's a three coupons, and all of these are more expensive. Let's go back and see if we can do something with these half foundations. Maybe we can, maybe we can't, I don't know. Let's just try it. Um, yeah, let's just write it up. Okay, so... What if we... Get rid of that. And we go to foundations and we grab the one meter half foundation. And we put it... Could we actually use this? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is actually, I think, the solution. Because this will... I think this will look neat. Um... So the question, okay, yeah, let's put it right on the seam there. I think this is, I think this is the way forward, people. You know what, though? Eh, that's okay. Uh, I mean, the pipes, the pipes raising above the rail, but only, it'll only do that in this section, and then it'll be straight all the west, rest of the way up. The only way to fix that is if we do this down here, too. And not even use these stupid wall pieces at all, because they're freaking worthless. Um, I'm going to try something here. I mean, they work great for here. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Let's get rid of this. Uh, let's just get rid of all of this. Okay. I'm going to grab this pillar and put it right here. And I'm going to put... Uh, this one, I think we want... Right... Um, there, I think. Can I? No, I can't angle those. Uh, 
Okay. Now, um... Just gonna put there, that there momentarily. So I can look down here. Okay. Bring this up to... Here. Okay, that should look fine down there. We'll color those black because we can. All right, and then we will take this and put it right there. No, right there. So it's on this line here. Can I put two of those side by side? No, it won't let me do that. That's okay. That that that's fine. We can live with that. Okay, now um bring that up to there. And it's on the proper angle. Beautiful. Wait a minute, though. Why are you using that? All right, then we put this down by itself. Except for now it's not... Oh, shit. Okay. That's pretty good. I, I mean, that's close enough. <laughs> I think that's close enough. All right, nice. Now what we can actually do here is we can go ahead, since it's going to be straight, uh, we, might, we might run into that rock over there, but let's just see what happens when we get over there. This one we can do this with. What? How is that now at the right angle? <laughs> It wasn't before and I couldn't get it that way. Or is it? It is. What the hell, man? Uh, and it's changing the angle of that a little bit, too. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but... I want to know how, how come it's working now and it didn't before. That's exactly what we just needed to do to do in the first place, you know? Oh shit, I don't know. It's um Looks like it's it's throwing it off a little bit too uh, the other way. So I think what we'll do for at least the first one here is we'll go ahead and just do the same thing. Um, because I want it to be lined up nicely. I'd say right about there. Okay, now tilt it down once. Okay. Now, what we can do up here is... We can try and attach it on the wall, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's go down here. Yeah, we mo we're probably going to have an issue right here. In fact, almost... Uh, yeah, All right, we're going to have an issue here. Because if we attach it sideways, it's going to clip into this terrain. Oh, we have another problem now. That doesn't want to go any lower on this one meter foundation. 
Uh, oh, they can attach to the rail. Oh, okay. So... I think that's our solution. Because that'll clear the... That should clear the terrain over there. Yeah. I think that's exactly what we need to do. Okay. I'm just going to take this down as far as our first miner. And let's just stop it right... Okay, here. Yeah, let's pick this up and this up. And this up. Let's grab the half foundation. Um, yeah, we'll grab the half foundation, one meter. We'll have to move this stair somewhere else. This isn't going to be able to stay here. Entrance. Hmm, okay, I guess it just wants to stay there. All right, nice. Um, <clears throat> now, as we continue to expand further to the east and north, you know, we can run even more of this tube. But I still want to get the, the other miners just right there, and that's where the road ends. So if we need to come up here, I, you know, I figure we'll just stop here because that way, you know, we can either get to this miner or that one fairly easily. But what I'm saying is, well, we can extend this out further as we ourselves move further east and further north, you know, uh, later on. Okay, so we could probably just hook this up directly to here. And that should be good. Just trying to think if I want to sign this right now. I think I will. And what we'll do is we will call this... Um, we'll just call it Main Road for now. Okay, let's go for a roller coaster ride. This is going to be awesome when we start going downhill because we'll really pick up some serious speed. That gets a little weird there. Look how fast we're going now. <laughs> it's a good thing there's a rail there. <laughs> that really shot us out. Um... I could have probably slowed down a little bit. Uh, something was jank up there. Okay, I'm going to go back and look at it. Because something didn't look right. I did something wrong. Oh, right, because I decided to use these other pieces. But I didn't change it back at the other end there. We want to level that out. I mean, that's that's not too bad. It's going to keep the line up here nice and straight if we do it this way. And we just have we just have a little bit of jank on this section, but um I mean, I'd redo this whole thing if I if I could get these fucking things to go at the right angle. I'll tell you what, I might mess with this ow. I might mess with this off camera. I'm not going to keep futzing around with it right now because we still have to get one more line run over to the factory, uh, which I'd like to do before I let you guys go, just for purposes of completion. But that being said, we got to ride the roller coaster back down. It's just too fun. <laughs> Here we go. I'm really picking up speed. Too bad they didn't have a speedometer in this thing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wow, you're going so damn fast, I couldn't even put the brakes on. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Um. All right, now, it's time to go this way. So, what we're going to do is... 
Head down here. And... How, how many did I go up here? I went up... Yeah, two and then the thing. Just, just like we did before. Okay. So two of those. And one of those. Okay, so I have... I have a fun idea in mind that we're not we're not going to do this in this episode because uh, there's it, it would take long a and B something I got to plan out but I was thinking it would be fun to create scenic hypertube rides if you will almost like you know think of a roller coaster amusement park kind of thing and what I was thinking we could do is we could do a, one, at least one maybe even more custom made rides by yours truly in each of the different biomes and set it up again like I said more like a roller coaster and the purpose of it would just be to have fun and kind of enjoy the scenery uh, while riding a hypertube as opposed to just as a means for transport to get from point A to point B, which is all we're mostly really doing it with it right now. Um, so I have that in my mind. I'm not promising you for absolute certainty that we'll do it, but we probably will. And I'm not going to tell you any more about that because it'll be a surprise. And it should be a lot of fun. So anyway, um, yeah, we'll probably do that in the future. But for now, we're just going to do the boring old follow the road route um, more for practical purposes so when I get this all the way down to uh, the base uh, to I'm sorry to the factory down there I'll bring you guys back and we'll we'll finish it out on that end all right guys so <laughs> I ran out of pipe um, right there so I'm gonna take the tractor uh, back to the new factory and I'm gonna load it up with versatile frames and then come back finish this out and we'll and we'll stuff those frames in the space elevator okay so we need to grab ten of these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um yeah we need room for other stuff so I'm gonna stick all those in there okay so we need pipes we also need a little more copper sheeting to finish this out too those are the two main ingredients for hypertubes. Steel pipes and copper sheeting. So let's just grab a few more stacks of that. That should be plenty. And copper sheeting is hither. Alright. Now, um, that started back up. How are we doing on beam? See, it's, it's using it, but it's not... I'm well, not worried about it. These take longer to make. And we have to ship them back down here, but uh, I think we'll be okay for that, too. So I'm just going to let this fill back up again. Because we know that a full bin of these is 2,400. And that's just 100 shy of 2,500, which is what we're going to need for that particular part for the next project. Um, okay. Let's head on back. Okay, let's do these first. It's 300. And 500. Look at that. We're done. So now we just need to make 100 smart wire. Um, I mean, I could even I could even handcraft those, but we need <coughs> we need to do a stator production anyways. Uh, we talked about that in the last episode, so not much point in handcrafting me if we're going to make that regardless, so. Okay, let's get this guy turned around. I think that's where we need to go. That look like the right height. I think so. 
I don't know if it'll make that. That's a really tight corner. Well, let's just do it and see what happens. Hold on. Oh, it does. Okay. <laughs> It'll give us whiplash going through there, but that's okay. Try that. That's good enough. That's, we're going to call it good. Okay, now um, we're going to put a sign on here. And we're going to call this... Uh, we're going to call it Western Coast Factory. And all that remains is this. Let's go home. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, uh, plan for the next episode, I think, is to set up our stator line. And then after that, uh, and the reason for that is so we can get going on the the final um, project, uh, which is the smart wire. Plus, like I've said multiple times now, we need to actually set up a stator production anyway. Um, and then after that, we need to go, we have to, f we need to figure out quartz and, um, quartz for sure. And to a lesser extent, sulfur. So, you know, watch, if I don't do anything, it just shoots me right through into the next one. I don't even have to stop or, or intervene at all. Um, so that, that spacing is really good. And, um, yeah, so I, I want quartz specifically so we can start making silica. Um, so, you know, so we can start building more with glass and stuff like that. And we need it for a few other things too. And we need, um, you know, obviously we need sulfur for gunpowder specifically. And then there's a few other things, you know, I'm sure that needs it. In the meantime, I'm going to set up another coal factory section. Uh, and I'll just do that off camera because you guys have already seen me do that. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed And If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. I think this is looking pretty good in here, actually. I like how it's come together. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.